All right, we've talked about how to multiply and divide fractions, and now we're going to add mixed numbers into that. So, um, I, most people I, I would think would agree that you know it's much more difficult to do to work with mixed numbers than it is with regular fractions. You know, we go over our rules for working with fractions, and and it would kind of be nice to stick with those rules. So. If you'll remember, we've already changed mixed numbers into improper fractions. So let's remember how to do that. In order to change this mixed number into a fraction, remember we have to multiply and then add, kind of as we're going like diagonally up. So 4 times 3 would be 12, plus 2 would be 14, so that would be 14 over, we keep the denominator of 3. So this is changing that into an improper fraction. Well, if we can change mixed numbers into improper fractions, wouldn't it make sense then that we could multiply them and divide them using the same exact rules that we have learned already? Absolutely. So let's try these a couple of examples here. Here we have four and a half times one and three fourths. So again, let's change these over to improper fractions first. So we're going to multiply and then add. Two times four would be eight, plus one is nine. Over, we keep the denominator of two. Now keep that multiplication symbol. We're not really changing anything. We're just converting it from mixed number form into improper form. Here we're going to do the same thing. We're going to change it over to an improper, so 4 times 1 would be 4, plus 3 would be 7, and keep that denominator of 4. Now, we've done this already. We know at this point how to multiply fractions. We can't do any canceling, tops and bottoms, so we just multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. 9 times 7 would be 63, and 2 times 4 would be 8. Now again, though, this is an improper fraction, so we need to change it back to a mixed number. We don't ever want to leave things in improper form. So we would need to go ahead and do that division. 63 divided by 8, well, so if it was 64, it'd go in evenly, but it's just a little bit shy of that. So 7 times 8 would be 56, and 63 minus 56 would be 7. So our mixed number here would be 7 whole ones and 7 eighths left over. So our mixed number would be 7 and 7 eighths. Let's try another one and see if we can do that. This one, oh, this one actually has three things multiplied together, and that's okay. Our rules will not change. Our first number here is a 3, so I'm going to go ahead and write that as 3 over 1 so I can see that numerator and denominator times. Now one and a half, we can change that over. Two times one would be two, plus one would be three. So it would be three over, keep the denominator of two, times. Now I'm going to convert this mixed number. T three times two would be six, plus two is eight. So it would be eight over, keep the denominator of three. Now we can simplify actually before we move on. We have 3 will go into 3 once, and 3 will go into 3 once. We also have 2 and 8 that we can um, simplify. 2 goes into 2 once, and 2 goes into 8 4 times. So now we're multiplying 3 times 1, which is 3, times 4, which is 12, over 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, and this is improper. So 12 divided by 1 is 12. So that's how we multiply with mixed numbers.